Welcome back, people, to uh, a review of Amazon Basics uh, hardcover art sketchbook L size. They're a fiver each, <laughs> so getting two of these for a tenner, I thought can't be that bad, can it? Can't be. Can't, I've opened one. I haven't tested it yet, people, so I don't know what I can actually do on them. So this is what this review is going to do. We don't need the uh, that box. Let's open this one. I'm keeping them whatever happens. They're going to be good for sketching if they're not good for anything else. Do you know what I mean? But there's the two thingy for a tenner. Two of these for a tenner. Wow. I wanted to get back into sketching. And yep, yeah, that's a perfect size for me, actually. Job done. So this one I'm going to keep for um, probably more neater finish sketches. And then this one's a bit of a, you know, I'm going to let loose. So you get this lovely thing that you can then make sure that this always is tight. That's quite nice. It's hardback for a fiver. One of these for a fiver. Damn. Let's open it up. You get this lovely smooth paper, for, uh, you know, first pages, for which then I think is your, your opening pages, isn't it? You could write there. You can do all kinds of funky things or creative things if you wanted. But the actual paper itself is in here. That's smooth, and then that's got like a rough texture. So this must be like this here is all the way to the back of the book, I'm assuming. Oh, look at that. Even at the back of the book, we've got like, th there's that sheet of paper that runs all the way down to the first and last. And then you've got this, a big massive pocket. Look at this, people. Look how big that pocket is. That pocket is massive, <laughs> massive. Damn, that's quite nice actually, isn't it? That is a nice little feature to have in a, in a, in a sketch pad. So, uh, this, that what I'm doing today is on, because this is my first page, I'm just gonna bend that back a little bit so it can slide flat, which it is now. There we are. There's the paper, It's it's got a bit of tooth in it. It's got like, uh, it feels rough to touch, but oh, I know it's smooth. Let's see, well, let's do the basics. Does it take pencil? Yeah. Yeah, it takes pencil. That's that done. Uh, watercolours. It says it's all medium. Is it really? Uh, they, are there? These are the watercolours I'm going to be using. I'm just going to, I'm just going to go for it, people. Don't worry about it. I ain't going to be messing about here. Let's get my water open. Let's see if it takes watercolour. I've got my brush. Uh, let's do uh, that funky blue. A light blue. Get a bit more water. Try and get some more paint on the go. This is going to be very quick. I ain't going to do anything stupid. Let's see if it takes watercolour. I think the answer is yes. <laughs> I'm liking that, people. Let's push them away. Uh, let's get that ink out of there. We don't need him. Close him down. We don't need that again. So does it take watercolour? Yes. Does it come through to the other side? No, it doesn't. That's pretty cool. That's, that's good. Does it take coffee stains? Let me get that, that brush out and pop in there. This is that coffee solution I made, that intense coffee. I'm just going to put fades on and see what happens. Yeah, you know, that'll do. Just to, I want to test it. And the only way to do it is to get stuck in. Okay. Uh, th that's mainly water and, and coffee. So let's have a look at this. Let's uh, spread that out. Yeah. There you are, mate. I'll just dampen it with this thing. Take some of that coffee off. I think it takes it, people. <laughs> that takes that stuff. Really nice. So you can get really wet with it then. Does it come through the other side? No, that's totally dry. And last we've got all oh, these colour pencils, these Dermot uh, colour pencils. Let's have a crack at them, people. Does it take them? Oh, actually, when we've got those ones, uh, na, 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 na. who is that one? Let's see if I can't. Give me them. Not that one. Give me that stronger colour. 
Now we've got a bit of water there. What about that? Yeah, that looks to me. Look at that, people. Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Let's dip it in the water and then do the watering over here. Look at that. Does it take it? Oh, this paper. It takes that colour quite nice with the, with the Dermot pencils. Because there's lots of teeth there. I like it. I'm going to get my paper. Lovely. Uh, let's get a dry one and then apply the watercolour to it, the water to it after and see if that makes a difference. Let's go for that funky blue. Let's do it over it. This is my tester page, people. I, I don't really care about it. This, for this book, I don't care. Can you see it takes that colour off the paper? Off the, well, the paper is taking the colour off this. That's quite nice, people. Now then, let's get that brush in there and uh, get that blue moving. Yeah, it's quite nice, isn't it? It really is. It just takes it. Lovely. So you can do uh, those watercolour pencils and achieve goals of some, some kind. That's pretty cool. Has it come to the other side? No. What's left? Oh, I know. I was going to take some of the uh, get my business card here and then I'm going to use some acrylic on it. Let's see if it takes a bit of acrylic. Come on, give me a bit then. Give me a bit. There you go, son. Thank you. I'll have to clean this tub after. I want a nice dry brush. Well, dry is anyway. <laughs> right then, we'll go over here where it's thingy. So let's get this acrylic out. I don't want loads of acrylic. No, 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 loads. Hey. <laughs> Look at that vibrancy of that colour. Bang. You could actually mix in media, couldn't you? You could really get going media. And you could really get a different effect, couldn't you? Do you know what I mean? Does it take it? I'm going to say it does, people. So you can do acrylic, watercolour. You could do um, everything. You could do everything. Wow. That's amazing, people. Won't need this business card again. <laughs> so, that's gone. Um, ah, while we're on the same paper, does it take ink, as in writing ink? So, you might want to do, like, handwritten stuff in there, do you know what I mean? So, we'll go here. Does it... Is it feathering? Is it sucking up? No. So can you do... Yeah, I like it. So you can apply standard ink. That's what's in here. Standard ink to it. Uh, so if, they can, if you can add that ink, you can add biro. I did think about doing like calligraphy. So let's do... Maybe some calligraphy to it. One, can I run the nib across this paper? And two, can does the ink? Then I'm going to do that now. I think I'll just do it at the bottom here or across. I'll do it on this. I'll do it on this thing here. Come on, bad. I'll do it on this stuff here. It should. It should. It's dry. So let's see if it takes this ink. Yes, it does, people. So let's do uh, that's nice. Does it feather? Is it feathering? It's great going down strokes, <laughs> but when you start going up strokes, you can feel the ridges. Oh, there's lots of ridges. So I'm not going to use it for copper plate because um trying to get that smooth upstrokes you just couldn't do it on this paper you just couldn't do it if i try a different way up oh it's it's like there's so many ridges so basically this calligraphy ink does go on the paper and it isn't feathering it's just that that nib it just won't work people so calligraphy is out but you can do the other handwritten stuff if you wanted to and that's pretty cool let me just put this away and we'll have a wrap up of what I think. Uh, which one is it? This one. 
I've got to, I've got to tidy up, people. Let's face it. Let's tidy up. You have to tidy up. Or we clean your nib. Otherwise, you have cakey deposits on your on your nib. You know what I mean? We don't want that. So get your nib. Make sure you clean it all the time. If you do need to redip, just get it in there. Then give it a good clean. And that's that done. All the cleaning's done. I think I've done everything I, I can actually achieve or wanted to test. So acrylic paint, yes. Watercolour paint, yes. Watercolour pencils and then applied the water, yes. So I'm gonna I'm going to assume it does take if it takes pencil, it takes pencil colours. Um have I got any alcohol markers anywhere? Let me have a look. What have we got here? Alcohol markers. That's the last thing I need to try. Maybe. What are these? What are these? These are watercolour pen, uh, pens. Oh, yeah, look at that, people. Yeah, okay. It does take alcohol markers there. And then you've got these uh, watercolour markers. Let's try the funky red again over on say what here yeah i'll go here right oh look at that oh wow that's pretty cool mate oh i've gone a bit awy into the ink there but it looks like you can actually go and do all kinds of funky things oh i've gone again into the stupid ink oh great i've more of the uh, i get rid of that ink come on you with that ink well there we are people this is it i'm actually drawing over the acrylic paint mm, i didn't know you could do that <laughs> <laughs> i'm over the watercolors yeah i like it people so you can actually watercolor pens as well wow i told you it's a, it's a test to people so for the fiver it ain't that bad is it Knowing you can do all kinds of different mediums and mixed mediums. I mean, you could also incorporate collards into this. You could do all kinds of funky things. What's it got? Oh, where's that piece of paper gone? I'll make sure that I don't uh, do anything stupid with that stuff. Don't know. That's it. Get rid of that, rid of that ink. I don't want that ink everywhere. Make sure it's dry. I don't care about this, people. Uh, make sure everything's dry before we turn the page. <laughs> there, I'm happy. Get out of it. There we are, people. I had my first test of piece. <laughs> and does it come through? It looks like, people, it's a bloody good boot for a fiver. These are thick pages, man. They're thick pages, and I like it. It means you can be brutal, hard, get going. I'm assuming it's going to take chalk. And if you are going to do chalk based drawings and sketches or studies outside in the open, you're taking like fixer dent stuff, aren't you? So basically, yeah, I mean, a lot of work there, people. Wow. It takes a lot of medium. So Amazon Basics Books, yeah, go get yourself a couple. Because these, ladies and gents, are. Wait, where's the other one gone? Uh, it's disappeared oh it's here because i bought two for a tenner <laughs> i bought two of these boots for a tenner you can't beat that people if you want something that's cheap cheerful and ready to use straight out the box there they are people and if you're out and about in the wilderness or out and out in, the, in nature and you do pick up the odd thing and you're in and you've got this sketch pad working blah 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 at the back here so you've got this massive toy massive pocket here for which then you could put your finds in this pocket look at that <laughs> that's quite deep that is deep and you can put your finds in there close the book and bring it home with you so go get yourself a couple of these people and hopefully you've enjoyed this quick review and uh, the link's in the description. Go get yourself a couple or four or five. A fiver, it's got to be worth a, worth a stab in it. I love these books, love them. So go get yourself a couple. They're in the description. And thanks very much for watching. Thanks, guys. Thank you.